All right, thank you so much for tuning back into another reaction video. My name is Chris. My name is Sam. And we are Offset Era. Woohoo! Yeah, hey. All right. Yippee. Okay. Today, if you see in the title, you know what we're checking out today. It's Baby, Baby metal. metal. We're back with another one. And the last few videos have done really successful on our channel. And we're really happy to have all of you fans checking out the reactions with us. We really appreciate you being here. This one will be the third one we're checking out today. So if yep. you haven't seen the other two, please go check them out on our channel. We did Gimme Chocolate and we did the Just Road the to Resistance live in Japan. Yeah. Today, as you can see in the title, we're checking out Rondo of Nightmare. And with the Mischief of Metal Gods intro. Perfect. At, live at Budokan. All right. Black Knight Apocalypse. Uh, it says in the description, it looks like it was shot in 2014. Nice. Wow. So this was a little bit a while ago. Uh, more than a little while ago. <laughs> this video has 337,206 views currently. Yep. It's going to have one more when we're done. Yep. Uh, some pretty cool comments in here. I much preferred the presentation of the band where they are on stage giving a real legitimacy to proceedings. This is my favorite Sue Metal performance because unconstrained by the fatigue of dancing, she can just focus on belting out some decent vocals and the darker nature of the song really allows her to shine. I love that comment. Well, so, I'd, say, I'd say it's a little more than decent. Yeah. Well, I, it sounds like they may not be dancing as much in this one. Yeah. And it also sounds like they might be featuring the band a little bit more up front. I that, think that's going to be interesting. Yeah. I think that's what they were saying in the comments when, they, when this was suggested. So much power from such a young girl and yet a seasoned veteran by this point. This is why she is the queen. Nice. <laughs> no matter how many times I watch this at 531, goosebumps every time. Epic performance from everyone in the group. Nice. So is her name Sh Show Metal? She I, think that, I think that's her um her stage, stage name. Her stage name. Name, yeah. Sue, Me Sue Metal, probably. Sue Metal's vocals are next level. She never runs out of power. A masterpiece about fighting depression and finally losing the fight. A light show perfectly reflects the lyrics. See, e.g. the cage made of light beams when the singer is captured in his slash her condition. See also the pantomimic marionette at the end of the song when the singer lost the fight where we're reduced to a helpless marionette. Well, I guess we're going to have to check this one out. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started. And if you're checking out Baby Metal with us for the very first time. Welcome. Welcome. We're happy to have you here and we hope you stick around. So hit subscribe. We got more Baby Metal videos plenty on the way. All right, but if you're not new here, you know what time it is. It's time for or the glorious transition. transition. All right, and here we are, right in the corner, right where mommy told us to be. Mm. All right, as you can see, baby metal Rondo of Nightmare. Let's get this one going. Oh yeah, they're really up front stage. Yep. And they're firing off right at the start. Mm. How, how many freaking strings does that bass have on it? Uh, a lot? Six? A lot. I think it's got six. Yeah. Yeah, they're five. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's too many drinks. Good harmonies? Yeah. Nice solid tone on the bass. Ooh, that squeal! Nah. Nice double bass licks. Yeah. Real clear. Woo! Oh, I'm liking that. On knees. Woo! We got this mixed really nicely. Yeah. I 
I love watching double bass players that just like play double bass constantly because it just looks like they're not doing anything in particular. Just like count the strings. Yeah, it is a six string bass. Yep, I know that they make them, but it's just they're so ridiculous. Like you just, I don't understand how many str oh you need that many strings. All the bass players are gonna come after me now. Yeah. All right, here we go. Okay. They serve a purpose. Yeah, they serve. I'm sure it does. I'm sure. So if you play six string bass, let me know what you do with it, because I wouldn't know what to do with that. I mean, I play six string guitar, but you know, seven and seven string guitar. I it's guess like I playing, it's like playing eight string guitar. Yeah, I, 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 I really can't. I, I, I mean, that definitely has its place as well. But that's still like trying to, you know, trying to play that. Like I, oh, I just, yeah. I wouldn't know how to wrap my head around that. Yeah, that'd be kind of crazy. All right, back it up a tiny bit here. Here we go. Anyways, anyways. Bass. Oh, he's playing that low string. Yeah. Such a th Must be higher than. Whoa. Whoa, the frets look nuts on that. Holy. Oh, the B2 with it. That was awesome. When they said that this was a time to let the band shine, they were not kidding. Oh! Here he goes. Go base through the whole thing. Is that just the intro? <laughs> Almost epic intro. Well, that's got a, That was a jam. Yeah, that was that was the mischief of Metal God. That I didn't even plan that. <laughs> that must have been the mischief of Metal God's intro. Or maybe this is it. Nope. Oh, there she is. Yep. What a stage show. That is so cool. To determine if I can hear like a backtrack or anything, it's very faint if it's in there. It sounds like there might be something in there, and then I'm also hearing. And I've got told before, I think on another comment on one of the other videos, that she does sing to like a backtrack, back singing track that helps with the harmonies and stuff. So I hear a little bit of that in here, but it's not super thick or anything. Uh, and it's Just really interesting to see the sp it's eight spinning around. <laughs> so that it's so that it um so that it, it serves as um as like a. A reinforcing harmony yeah yeah some kind of back that's definitely her that's definitely her live oh yeah you can hear her voice but if you listen really carefully there is something in there subtly but it's yeah. not it's not enough to like override anything that yeah she's like doing that, live. i mean that's that's like if if that is backing tracks that's yeah. that's proper usage of it yeah like um like using it to to provide an orchestral effect for right. uh, for vocals like if it's the lead singer and backing backing vocalists right. singing live right. and they're just using that to like add to it to 
just just to amplify as like yeah. an amplification for mm-hmm. it that's one thing thickens it up it's not it more stereo so. it's another thing if you know if it's a singer lip syncing to it because they can't right. hack it live anymore right but that's beside the point yeah this is clearly her yeah you can definitely tell off. yeah for sure it's a live vocal absolutely sure. all right let's back it up just a tad and Also appreciating the dun 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 the little stops in the in yeah that's the, really tight yeah the little stops in that bass drum pattern dun 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 spacing dun dun it's not dun 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 it's dun 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 it's it's stagnated it's really neat yeah. effect to the song. <laughs> I like the AM radio effect. That's really cool. This is, oh, this is the marionette part they're talking about. Yeah. it again here we go <laughs> it's so nice we're gonna watch it again here we go all right all right that was baby metal with rondo of nightmare and it's i guess that beginning part was the mischiefs yeah we're all the metal gods where the intro. Where the where the band gets to really shine so like the first what three minutes or so was just that in, that instrumental part yeah really cool guys uh really cool part at the beginning lots of cool bass Toward yeah. the end, all that tapping and all the soloing on the bass guitar. Yeah, really great tone as well. And yeah, really tight with the with the low string. Like there wasn't any flopping at all with that. No, or any no. Clanking, just very balanced. I think and most. He, and he really made good use of the uh, of that high string. I think yeah. that's a. I think what that is with the six string setup, it's a it's a high F sharp. Okay. Well, I think it's low and high, right? It goes above the bass and look below the four bass. Four yeah, there's a well, it's B E A D G, and I think F sharp. Okay. I, I might be wrong, but okay, or it might be a different, or, or it might be in the back of that. But okay. I've only tinkered with the six string bass once. So. Yeah, they're real strange. Yeah, it's feeling weird. I've never played a five string. Oh, no, I can't say I have never played a five string, but I've very seldomly have played a five string. <laughs> like maybe once or twice. Uh, I think we're pretty interesting. It's just like playing a seven string. You're like, I guess you yeah. get obsessed over the extra string for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, if you like that reaction, please make sure you subscribe and check out the rest of our baby metal videos and suggest what you'd like to see next. Yep. And to end this one, we just want to say we're Offset Arrow. We're two thirds of the band. We're from Cape Coral, Fort Myers area, and we do all original music. Yep. We have an EP coming out the 29th. It's coming up pretty quick. Yeah. We just got done shooting a music video for our song, Watch It Burn. 
hopefully that'll be out within the next week or so. Yep, uh, for, as the first single as well. Right, and then we have some shows coming up. Next Friday, the 26th, we're going to be at our favorite spot, Always Pop Records and Beer. Yep. Our friends and social infants were gracious enough to invite us to their own EP release party, so we're great to be on the bill with them. And then the next day, the 27th, we're going to be in Arcadia at the Opera House for the for their punk rock show. Looking forward to that as well. Saw a couple comments on some of the baby metal videos that some of you guys are in Florida. So come on out to a show. We'd love to see you. Absolutely. All right. Well, that's it for us on this one. We want to thank everyone for subscribing and watching and supporting the channel. And if you haven't done so, hit the bell, hit the like, subscribe, and hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Cheers.